Yo, what's poppin'? Welcome to Broom and Rhapsody. This is where we review cars and motorcycles. I'm here at Indian Motorcycle Greensboro Triad. The one and only, it's the sensei, you guys. How are you, sir? Excellent. How are you, bro, man? Living the dream, you know. And what is this? This is the brand new Indian Sport Chief. And uh, we decided to go ahead and do some extensive mods on it. Okay. As uh, you know, we started a new division in our service department. It's called 336 Mods. Okay. This is uh, this is our area code, 336. And uh, we're doing some, some really cool stuff. A lot of it is performance oriented. Some of it's safety oriented, handling oriented, style oriented oriented but gotcha. to our customers that are not doing stuff that is essential but more of a want than a need which <laughs> oh, are, I know a little something you about. know a lot about that <laughs> yeah you were kind of our experimental horse there yes I love it and in today's episode we're gonna talk about the bike of course absolutely we're gonna talk about all these awesome months you know I'm gonna take it out on the road share my thoughts with you guys talk about the cost of ownership and assign it a bromance score before we do any of that it's a very important you go down hit the like and subscribe button it could change your life <laughs> you put out content every week and your support would mean a lot it's me it's your boy bro and I am your bro man the sport chief versus a standard chief there's some cool goodies that have already been added at the factory some mods that the factory did mm. and they're I think they're very exciting I think they're exactly what the public has been looking for uh, the Indian motorcycle company has done a great job listening to consumer feedback mm -hmm. starting at the back they do have the Fox piggyback adjustable shocks okay that's a huge thing because we're talking about something here that's going to enhance um, the handling Mm -hmm. and possibly depending on the setting even the comfort I mean you may be ripping down a straightaway for the next 150 miles or you may be spending the next 30 miles in nothing but switchbacks mm -hmm. well this bike is set up to help accommodate that it does come with the ride command system not all chiefs come with that but that is available uh, on some of the models so that's a really cool thing behind this ride command screen you will notice that they've made a small modification here we're looking at a six and a half inch riser yeah and that was something that a lot of the guys have said hey listen we would like that that, that gives us a little better control position and then something that we really love it's a, it's an aesthetic thing which is this club style fairing fairing yep um, nice thing about it comes with a standard height windshield there's been a lot of questions could I get a taller windshield a hundred percent other questions we've had about this particular mod that's on here from the factory um, I don't I don't have the sport chief I bought um, a chief dark horse a year ago can I add that absolutely really the way this is designed is actually pretty much a quick release then the other thing bro man is up in the front suspension wise yes inverted. the KYB inverted inverted yeah. forks this is something that a lot of the guys that are big fans of the Challenger of course they would well, yeah. be nice to see that on the the chief as well it's got the 116 so it's going to have the little bit more robust motor we did put a factory stage one breather kit of course so yeah. we wanted to increase the airflow and we'll come back in a minute and explain a little bit about why we wanted to do that so we dropped in a set of the factory stage two performance cams Ooh. yes now i will tell you for a 116 thunderstroke i really really like the stage two factory performance cams uh, for a couple of reasons it's a great cam you're doing something inside the engine that is uh, from the factory mm -hmm. so that for a lot of people that's a, that's a quite a confidence uh, booster number two the cams also come with new injectors yes and a new throttle body mm -hmm. so it's a great great kit and then the fourth element of that is that it also comes with the factory stage two performance mapping mm, yeah and that's a great performance base map to have on the bike okay <coughs> so factory says you'll get about a 17 percent increase in horsepower over stock with the cams okay so second thing i want to tell you is part of that idea with more air coming in from the stage one air kit is and the more fuel being injected 
happened. Correct. Now we want to get a little more air out. Well, what we did on this particular bike is we went with a full Sawiki speed exhaust system. Okay. Now, if we didn't do anything else to this bike, that would be significant addition to the performance. First of all, uh, Sawiki's done the dynos. That set of exhaust right there on this bike, you're going to get around uh, nine horsepower increase Ooh. around a 10 foot pound torque increase oh wow yeah it's significant but here's the deal now that's enough to notice the big thing is that set of pipes from sawiki actually weighs 32 pounds less than the stock exhaust and then from the performance side we decided to take it one step further so because we are a lloyd's remote tuning center yeah. we reached out to our friends at lloyd's garage and said hey we want to tune this bike um, we downloaded the data sent it down off of the bike as it is set up and let me tell you now we have not taken it up the up the road to our friends at the at the dyno with the dyno to tell you exact numbers but you don't need the dyno to know because you can use what I call the BD. The What's BD it? stands for the butt dyno. <laughs> butt dyno, I like and it. And when your butt gets on this, and as soon as you ride it, basically what happens there is you come back picking the bugs out of your teeth. Oh, so, I'm sure. You are just a wealth of information and knowledge. Well, thanks for letting me get on here and yap and babble. <laughs> <laughs> you mind if I do a quick walk around and Please. show on the bike? Starting off from the front, you have the club style fairing. I quite like it. You have LED headlamps, turn signals, and take out the tires. It looks like like the bobber tire, <laughs> the bobber front tire. And this club style fairing though, <laughs> I wasn't sure how it would look in the when I saw it in the pictures, but in person, it's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. So up front, we have the inverted front folks. <laughs> I like that. That's what you see in sports bikes a lot. That actually aids in handling a lot. The stopping power is provided by dual 320 millimeter disc brakes. And they have a four piston Brembo brake caliber. Caliper. ABS is standard. Now this bike has a 28 degree rake angle. What's the rake angle you ask? We'll draw a perpendicular from the steering mount, follow the fork tube. That angle is your rake angle. Shorter the rake angle, the more nimble the bike is and larger the rake angle, the more stable it is at higher speeds, highway speeds and such. This, now this bike has a 64.6 inch wheelbase, a seat height of 27 inches and a curb weight of about 685 pounds. In the rear we have the bobber looking rear end. So you have those two lights there are your turn signals and your tail lights and that's your license plate mount on the side pretty cool right let's talk about the handlebar controls on our left hand side over here is a little tab that you can press to toggle through the menu you have your horn high beams passing lights turn signal and hazards at the bottom is your, the, your music button to play your music or control your music and this also goes to the menu as for the handlebar controls on your right hand side you have your power button your kill switch and starter and uh, your cruise control and it's got this beautiful indian teardrop shaped mirrors on both ends i quite like this design this bike has keyless ignition so this is your key fob it says indian on one side logo on one side says indian on the other side as long as you have this in your pocket you should be able to start up the bike let's press the power button boom i love that graphics man yeah that one i love it and you get a lot of information over here you have warning lights all around it that says indian on the top you get this little screen over here your gauges you have bike you have ride map music phone settings controls pretty cool now if you click on gauges that'll take you here uh, you have your electronic tachometer and speedometer outside temperature with gear you're on and the time if you click on this button it takes you to another screen next gauge it your battery voltage uh, your miles per gallon fuel economy your fuel range outside temperature things like that then this is your current ride tracking or your ride tracking you can track your rides you have your odometer down there that's your map it's got navigation after all so you can play around with it you can move it add destination and all that you can add layers you click on this button that brings you back right back over here uh, you can add your phone and do all that if you do controls yeah once you hit controls that's you get your riding modes you have two standard sport and you can adjust your brightness as well and then if you go into settings you can when it, when's your next oil change do all of that if you click here it's very similar to what you see on the full-blown ride command center on the bigger indians and the slingshot 
So you can make selections of all of these things, update maps, update software, all of that fun stuff over there. You can set your time and this has cylinder deactivation so what it does is like if it's hot and you're stopped in traffic or whatever it'll cut that it'll cut down the second the rear cylinder so it's not going to be as hot so it's always already turned to on and if you get here the last screen over here is this beautiful display this is your tachometer down here your speedometer this gives you like the analog display yeah, it's really cool they even have a fuel indicator oh i like it what is indian motorcycle green sport triad and the 336 mod mod shop we specialize in polaris made products mm -hmm. we have two showrooms one showroom concentrates on polaris off-road orv vehicles and this showroom which has its own special specialty staff concentrates purely on indian motorcycles and the Polaris Slingshot. I got into this business as, initially as an Indian motorcycle dealer uh, in early 2014, was in dealer development in 2013, which was the year that they first announced that they were coming with a new line of bikes. Mm. And 14 was the first year that they had the Polaris made Indian motorcycles. So we've been fortunate enough to be with the brand since the get go. Over time, we've been very excited to see how many people have embraced the Indian motorcycle brand, how there's been more aftermarket parts and so forth mm. available. And and that's one of the reasons why we've started this new division in our service area that we that our moniker is the 336 mod shop now you notice we don't call it 336 customs we're not going to chop your bike in half and do that no we're looking for the industry best modifications hmm. and be able to bring them together for you as packages here on site with the trusted uh indian motorcycle factory trained technicians and we want people to understand that here not only can we f handle your basic maintenance not only can we handle your repair situations but we also can take this bike we can light it up and make it a lot uh, more visible from a safety side mm -hmm. or we can make it perform a lot better for you both in terms of handling and in terms of uh, engine performance and they're also a gold star certified service department and the owner is a gold star certified tech himself i appreciate that yeah we we try they try not to let me pick up wrenches um you know they lock them up but i did the training because i wanted to better understand the machines and i wanted to better be able to communicate to the staff and the customers the staff here they're really friendly and they're really knowledgeable and this is home for me so come on down check them out i'll put the website link in the video description below and who should they say send them to you they better say as the bro man <laughs> all right tell them the bro man sent you and you'll be instantly part of this semi dysfunctional family 100 percent dysfunctional 100 <laughs> percent. but i just happened to look at my watch do you happen to know what time it is It's right o'clock, it's right o'clock, let's go. So if you guys are new to Brewman, give us a like and hit that subscribe button. We put out content every week and your support would mean a lot. So let's go, start her up. Oh yeah. <laughs> I like it, I like it. So let's start off the ride with our first test. Let's make a couple of U-turns and see how this puppy maneuvers, shall we? Short wheelbase, light weight. Yeah, U-turns, no problem. No problem whatsoever. <laughs> Which means it's time to do our second test. The pull test. Let's see how this puppy pulls. First things first, I'm gonna put it in sport mode and we'll give you. Oh. Oh. Oh, me. <laughs> oh my god. Like first gear was like meh, but second, oh wow. With the large tune and all the work it's been done. Oh dang, this is awesome. <laughs> So let's talk about the first impressions of this motorcycle. I love that sound. <laughs> yes, I'm a child. I love that sound, man. I love, love, love that sound. All right, so seating position. I like the seat. Uh, I'm sitting, it's a nice, it's got a nice cut to it. So I'm sitting quite comfortably. My legs aren't bent weirdly or anything at all. 
these handlebars uh, they there is a little bit of a reach to get to them uh, but it's not like I'm leaned over as for the mirrors I love the teardrop in the teardrop mirrors uh, you get to see a lot out of them now, I'm in maybe second or third gear second gear and it does vibrate a lot it's vibrating quite a bit actually but that's what you get but but you can still see a good amount of stuff behind you or what's going on in the world around you man this has that 116 thunderstroke and all the work that's done to it that exhaust man it sounds so amazing it sounds like something that's a much much bigger than what this bike is sounds like a muscle car <laughs> or the big indians even like my roadmaster now take out the balance oh my god i like it it's so easy to do this man this is so smooth and look at this i want to do this all day stop sign so let's see brakes 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 let's check out the dual brembo brakes up front yeah no problemo 27 inch seat height i'm 510 31 inch inseam no problem flat foot flat footing it on both sides none okay. all right let's hop on the highway for a little bit and check out what's what let me go ahead and change the modes i'll go put it in tour since we're gonna be on the highway <laughs> oh and this has mid-mounted uh, foot controls that's good too so let's go on the highway let's talk about wind protection <laughs> wind protection there isn't a lot of i'm getting a lot of wind on my arms my legs and stuff but this little club fairing or the club fairing yeah that's kind of blocking up wind up until like up until like my helmet like on the top of my helmet i have some wind but up until my helmet it's actually pretty good it's actually pretty good not gonna lie and riding on the highways i'm doing highway speeds and it's actually it feels really planted really really planted huh. and it's a nicer day today i think temps in the 50s so it's not too bad but <laughs> on colder days this is not gonna be a lot of fun uh, now this bike has the mid-mounted uh, foot controls so it's right down here instead of being up front uh, so that actually makes for a pretty comfy seating position um, but I personally I like the forward controls because uh, that's what I'm used to but I think a lot of folks in this category of motorcycles uh, prefer the mid-mounted uh, mid-mounted controls over the forward controls let's check out how this bike handles ah dang it actually leans quite a lot Oh wow, wow, huh, that was surprising, it shouldn't have been that surprising, it's got inverted front forks that upgraded rear suspension, uh, so yeah, shouldn't have been a surprise, but so let's check out sport mode, I think you have to close the throttle for it to activate, okay, so we are in sport mode, and as soon as you put it in sport mode, it's like, alright fam, all right fam let's go let's go <laughs> uh, mm -mm -mm. Uh, it's in sport mode uh, it wants to rev and rev fast <laughs> uh, i like that sound man i love that sound i love the sound of the exhaust okay so in sport mode basically all in all these different modes it's the throttle response that changes so in sport mode it's like instantaneous uh the throttle response is instantaneous look i'm going down let's go down a little bit more so i'm at 30 yeah 30 third gear and here give it gas Ooh. <laughs> the cams and the tune and everything they just come together and they're like all right son let's go the sport mode is by far the funnest mode uh, oh my god this bike handles so well <laughs> oh my god this is i'm having such a blast with this bike this, man i think i'm falling in love <laughs> no not again man 
gotta stop doing this. <laughs> oh, so is this a good bike for commuting? Yes, absolutely it is. Uh, you'd have a lot of fun in this setup. Oh my God, you're gonna have so much fun. Now this does not have saddlebags or anything, so you'd have a, you'd have to carry your stuff in a backpack, or you can get saddlebags. That will solve your problem. And you're gonna sto show up to work with a with a grin on your face <laughs> and be more productive. Is this a good bike for touring? The seat and everything is pretty comfortable, so I can see you knocking off a few hundred miles on this very easily. You could probably go touring longer distances too, but you'd probably need like saddlebags and maybe a taller windshield or something to up a little, get a little more wind protection and more storage space. But on nicer days, yeah, that should be no problem at all. Is this a good bike for beginners? Well, in its stock form, it's not because it's a 116 uh, and that puts out quite a good amount of torque and uh, and it, the torque gets you, man. <laughs> and these bikes, they cost, what, close to 20,000 anyways? Uh, so yeah, definitely not the most beginner-friendly bike. And yeah, and in the setup that this is in with the Stage 1, Stage 2, Lloyd's 2 and all of that, definitely not a beginner bike. Absolutely not a beginner bike. In conclusion, it's a good looking bike and you're just gonna have so much fun riding it. Whether it's in its stock form or with all the work that's been done, the stage two kit, stage one, stage two, and the Lodge tune, you're just gonna enjoy it no matter what. <laughs> but yeah, this is definitely a good bike for uh, commuting, for cruising. You can do some touring uh, with it as well. And by no means is this a beginner bike, absolutely not. Uh, even in its stock form and these mods. Oh my god. I love these mods If you guys are thinking about getting like a stage one stage two kit the Lloyd's tune or whatever Let me just tell you it's awesome from personal experience with my own Roadmaster and riding this for chief These things are amazing. Is this the bike for you? Well head on down to your closest Indian dealership and take one out for a spin Well, thanks for watching you guys keep your knees in the breeze and I'll see you soon bro out Thank you.